This is Loopline, and this is the second video in the basic video series, and this is on the Keyword Harvester. So if you already have keywords or footprints that you want to harvest, then you can obviously just plug those right in here into Scrapebox. This is a footprint box, and this is a keyword box, which we'll talk about more in just a moment. But if you don't have keywords, but you just have a niche, like let's say that your niche is around cars, for simplicity's sake, then we can harvest keywords in order to scrape keywords for our various projects. So one thing to note is that the keyword scraper does use proxies if you tell it to. 99% of the time you don't need to use proxies with the keyword scraper. The sources are very liberal and they don't ban your IP very quickly. However, if you run into situations where you wind up getting your IP banned and you're not getting results from the keyword scraper, then I would use proxies. Public proxies are going to give you varied results and are going to be quite slow. If you have private proxies, I would just use those for the keyword scraper if you need them. Otherwise, don't check the use proxies box. And I'm just going to go ahead and load up the keyword scraper here. And again, I'm just going to punch in car here. Now we have different sources that we can choose from. Google suggests, for instance, Yahoo. I'm just going to do all of them and pick up eBay and Android and Ask and Yahoo and Shopping and the whole nine yards. Now we can see everything light up over here. And then we have the legend here for the different colors, which we'll see in just a moment. If we wanted to append A to Z to this to expand our keyword list, we could do that. What that does is it make it look like this, where it does car A, car B, and basically that can give you a second word that starts with each of these letters. So now we turned it into a much larger list, but I don't wanna do that. I just wanna stick really basic here and do car and I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and we can see what happens. So we'll see here to give us the keywords, the actual keywords here, and then the unique keywords down here. So we can see over here that we got a bunch of keywords, usually from one to 13 or so for the sources. Down here we can see these are the keywords that we actually scraped from it, 70 unique keywords, and it's removing duplicates automatically there. If we wanted to go ahead and export these, we could do that by going here to export and send these back to Scrapebox, save all keywords to Scrapebox keywords. We can see it shot them back over here into the keyword box. If we wanted to harvest some more, we could transfer results to left side to stick them over here. And then we could go around and harvest again and get more results. We could append A to Z to each one of these things and get 1,890 keywords and really go to town. But I'm actually just gonna start over to show another thing we can do here. That was one level deep. If I wanted to go, let's say two levels deep, what that's gonna do is scrape the word car, get my 70 keywords, automatically shove these back over here and then scrape keyword suggestions for each one of those 70 keywords, which is gonna wind up with a whole lot more keywords. So we can see it notices level two here. And as it goes through here, we can see we got a lot more keywords back, 514 keywords. This will go all the way up to level four, but bear in mind on level three, it's gonna shove 514 over here and scrape them. And then it's gonna take the results from those and shove them back over here and scrape them again. So you're gonna get thousands and thousands of keywords all off of one keyword. It can be great for keyword research. We can see it go through here. Some of it that we get back obviously is related cars for sale on Gumtree. Cartersville, Georgia has the word car in it, but obviously not the same thing. And then as we can see, Cartoon Network, anything, car DVD players, etc. So some of them are related, some of them aren't. We can pick out the ones we don't want or not, but this is really basic to get some actual keywords. And there's some other great keywords tools in here like the domain lookup and that sort of thing, but we can talk about that later in different Google sources in the advanced video. So closing out of that, I'm just going to stick with my 70 keywords here, and then I can use these to scrape. Now I have a custom footprint option and platforms and my footprint box here as well, which we can talk about again in the actual harvester video. If I wanted to import keywords, I can import them from file, including from cloud drives and that sort of thing. And then I obviously have the choice to save these off and some more tools. I can remove duplicates if I import my own keywords and I can remove keywords containing. So let's say I wanted to get rid of anything that has this cartoon here. I can remove keywords containing cartoon, which is nice and takes me down to 65 keywords. And if I wanted to remove like say adult stuff or if I wanted to remove keywords from whatever, I can do that. I also have the option to choose keywords containing entries from and this is where I can select a text file or not containing and select the text file and have a whole list in there. And then I can randomize my keywords and then I can reduce the amount of keywords. Let's say I scraped level four and I wound up with like 10,000 keywords and I don't really wanna go that deep. I can reduce the amount of keywords and choose how many keywords to keep and Scrapebox will automatically trim those up for me. And that 
that is the basic keyword scraping guide for Scrapebox.